Hey everybody, it's Andy Brown again. I'm the head instructor at the Climber School of Real Estate here in Orlando, Florida. You're lucky we are the best real estate school in all of Florida, so we're glad you're here. I'm going to show you another Climber School version of how to do real estate math. Now I'm going to do number 96, one of the math problems on our new January 2015 version of the free practice exam that you'll find on ClimberRealEstateSchool.com. This one is a percentage profit problem, and it seems to really confuse people. I'm going to tell you why. Because they don't use their calculators, they try to do it in their head, and they confuse profit, which is in dollars, with percentage profit, which is just a number, a percentage. So let's read it. 96. If a person bought a vacant lot for 80% of the asking price, and sold it for the asking price, or would that be 100% of the asking price? What is the percentage of profit? So let's talk about that. When you talk about percentage profit, you have three components. How much you paid for it or the cost. How much you sold it for, and then how much you made on it, the profit. So in this case, in the problem, we paid 80% of the asking price and we sold it for 100%. Now I use this on purpose. Don't be intimidated. It doesn't matter if I use percentage, dollars, jelly beans, bitcoins, poodles. It doesn't matter. It's going to work out exactly the same. The profit is the difference between what you sold it for and what you paid for it. So in this case, what was our profit? Sold minus paid. 100% minus 80%, 20%. Percentage profit is made over paid. So if we plug those in, how much did we make? 20, and remember it doesn't matter. $20, 20%, 20. What did we pay for it? What was our cost? 80%, doesn't matter. 80%, $80, just keep your units the same. Here we go, we have 20 over 80. Top number divided by the bottom number, 20, divided by 80 is 0.25 or 25 percent. That means the answer is A. You know if you have any questions you can email me or contact me at the school anytime. In the meantime, don't be intimidated by the real estate math on the state exam. Just go through it, use your calculator, do everything at least twice, get your license, and then go make a million dollars. Come back and visit us.